your Father. Greetings to all of you, those who are joining with us through Facebook and YouTube platform in the mighty name of Jesus. And also I greet all of you in the church in the name of Jesus. So before going to the word of God, uh, let us pray, join with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for continuously providing the daily manna to us and speaking to us, Father. Thank you for the revelation day after day, Father. Thank you for the concern among us, Father. Thank you for the love upon us. Holy Spirit, not me. Speak through me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Church, are you all happy today? Every day, uh, being in the Lord's house is the happiest thing. Right. Today, right to my topic, um, I would like to share the topic called Rejection is a Blessing. Rejection is a Blessing. How many all can agree with me? Rejection is a blessing. Amen? Rejection is a blessing. So turn with me to Psalm 118, verse 22 to 23. Psalm 118, verse 22 to 23. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, verse 23. This was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. And also turn with me, turn with me. Matthew chapter 21, verse 42. Matthew 21, verse 42. It says like this. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes, the Lord says. So rejection, how many have been uh, gone through uh, in rejection? Rejection? Right, okay. What is the meaning of uh, rejection? It says, it's, it's mean non-acceptance or decline, turn away by not accepting or receiving or considering about it, and also uh, refusing something. Simple way, among many, uh, among many things, selecting the best and reject or ignore the rest, right? So I will say, among the good products, we reject a normal thing and we go for the best product, right? And also rejection, rejection, can be also defined uh, like this as the act of pushing someone or something away from you. Or example, number one, uh, rejection by their own family members or own origin. Number two, rejection by a friend, right? Rejection by a life partners, right? And also rejection by companies during interviews or get sued by the companies or working places. We can use rejection. Number five, rejection when applying for visa, right? Jobs in overseas or rejections in selections, right? We also, always, we can use these terms in these kind of things. And also number six, rejections when you are poor or uneducated or a not good looking personality. Sometimes you may get rejected from the people, right? And also, number seven, rejection uh, because of we are Christians, right? We are Christians. Sometimes we get rejected because you're a Christian, right? And, um, and also we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord, Savior. Christianity. Christians normally they get rejected from people. Uh, in society or family, even family members also, they reject when we accept Jesus Christ um, like our Savior. Even uh, social uh, rejection, like kind of things, we can list out many things. Even if you are a man or a woman, right? Sometimes if you are a woman, they, they say, woman can't do, do this, only man can do this. They will say, Man can't do this, only woman can do this. Say rejection. Even though if you are, uh, please excuse with my pronunciation, right? If you are a, 
I'll go with this. Give me a second. If right. Okay. How can I tell that? Okay. Hermaphrodite, right? It says hermaphrodite, right? Side. They call this like they are like woman, and they are like male as well, male or female. But they are not uh, like uh, it says she male or gay. They say like this. Sorry for sorry for using this kind of word. So I wanted to say because some people they are they are rejected by the society because they are not they they. They dress like women, they act like gents, but actually uh, they are also human beings. They also have feelings and ex uh, everything. Uh, so they also get rejected by the society. So rejection, in our, uh, if let's say like this, rejection can be experienced on a large scale or a small ways in every day's life, right? Rejection, rejection. When, when we go to the passport office or something, last couple of days, I got <laughs> some experience. So they reject the visa and everything. They reject, reject, reject since companies and also. So in daily basis life, we reject. Sometimes even the vegetables get damaged. We reject that and take good things, right, to cook. Even daily, daily basis in our life, we used to, uh, the term called reject in life. So typically, um, rejection is a part of life, right? Rejection is a part of life. The rejections increases like this, denying something, anger, it increases anger in everyone's life and depression, jealousy and sadness, uh, anxious and uh, the physical pain. It increases these kind of things when you face the rejection in your life and also it reduces performance in our daily basis life, right? It won't let us to uh, be productive for God or in any area in life. So no matter how successful we are in life, in our life, everyone will face this painful reality at some point. Do you agree with me? Rejection, in some point we can, uh, like, in, in our real life, we used to uh, face this Re rejection in our life. So uh, where we we where we cannot escape from this platform, right? So, but good news is, good news is, we have a good God who gives us the confidence and hope to live a successful life, right? We have the hope, the um, like say. Okay, let me try, try to put like that. We have the hope and confidence in him where we can overcome this rejection and have a successful life. Okay, so today, right, only I'm going to talk about Jesus. So because of my time. So Jesus faced rejection for us, right? Jesus faced rejection for us because my topic is rejection is a blessing, right? According to Isaiah chapter 53 verse 3, Isaiah prophesied that Jesus, as the suffering servant of the Lord, would be scorned according to Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. It says like this. Mm. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and accountate, Accumulate with grief, right? He was rejected, and we did as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. So he rejected because of you and me, right? What I'm trying to say is, Jesus himself rejected because to redeem you and me from the darkness. Jesus was despised in that he was hated by the Pharisees and Sadducees and others in Jewish uh, ruling class, right? The own people rejected him. They didn't accept him, right? Even though Jesus continually showed himself to be the Messiah, real Messiah. 
But the Pharisees and Sadducees refused to believe in him. According to John chapter 12 verse 37 to 43, if you read the scriptures, you can find out how they rejected. No, he's a liar. No, Jesus was not the Messiah. No, they rejected him. They didn't accept, they, they didn't believe the scriptures which was written by the prophets uh, in the Bible. They didn't accept Jesus Christ. They even tried to kill or arrest Jesus multiple times during his earthly ministry. They were trying to attack him, right? Romans despised Jesus as a common criminal, like mocking, like beating him, and spitting on him, and flogging him. They mocked him, placed a crown of thorns on his head. Even morning also, we had a good message in Tamil. You can find out what is the meaning of um, thrones and tithes, right? You can, uh, you can know wh what is the purpose about the thrones and the tithes. And you can find out, if you know, Tamil and Singhala, you can go to the uh, sermon and you can listen to that. So according to um, the verse says, they mocked him and placed a crown of thrones on his head to say, you're a, a sinner like that. Right? According to First Peter chapter two verse six to seven says like this. First Peter chapter two verse six to seven says like this. Turn with me. Right. Therefore it is also contained in the scripture. Right? Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Mm. Right? Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious, but those who are disobedient. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Who was the cornerstone? Chief cornerstone. Jesus himself is your chief cornerstone for your life. Right? Jesus himself. Israel rejected Jesus as their Messiah. And, tr and they didn't believe he was a true God. Right? Because he did not fit their own filthy thoughts. He was not fit for their own filthy thoughts. And they rebelled against the true living God. He didn't accept their false thoughts and filthy thoughts. He, he, he didn't fit for them. So they rebelled against Jesus Christ. That's why in John chapter 8. Today I would like to just go in deep in John chapter 8. So turn with me to John chapter 8. What's happening? Just one incident with you all. Turn with me to John chapter 8. Do you know the incident? What's happening? An adultery case. Is Jesus is dealing with some prostitute uh, adultery thing in there. So mm, Jesus forgave the woman who committed sin in prostitution, right? So what? Read with me. But Jesus, chapter 8, verse 1. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him. And he sat down and taught them, right? You can see, verse 3. Then the Scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now in, in, the, in Moses, now Moses in the law. What is the law? Moses' law. Right. Carefully read this. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, right? They are testing. Now they are testing. They wanted to reject him. Somehow they want to find faults in Jesus and they want to kill him. They want to arrest him. So they, somehow they are trying, oh, whether he is giving an answer beyond the Moses law. That tactic, like they are doing something. But Jesus, see what he, he has answered. Okay? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. Right. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. Sometimes we have to be like Jesus, reject things, to be silent, ignore things, 
it's good for <laughs> uh, to it's good to uh, have a rela healthy relationship right so when they continued asking, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone uh, at her first. Right. So I want to dig some more verses here. So if you read that Jesus is trying to teach something for them. So actually, in this case, the woman is getting forgiveness from God. And also Jesus is trying to say about who gives you the deliverance. Because according to uh, John chapter 8 verse 32 says like this. John chapter 8 verse 32. We can read it from verse 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the tr truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. Because the, they, they thought in Moses' law, we have to live in a bondage. No. But Jesus says, right? And you shall know, sorry. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Which will make you free? The truth will make you free. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants. Read this, right? Note this. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? How? They're saying, we are Abraham's descendants. How you can say we are in bondages? Ha! Huh. Then Jesus said, mm. Jesus answered them, most assuredly, I say to you, most assuredly, confidently says, whoever commits sins is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, it is son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Word is son, son is Jesus. When son makes you free, you set free. Right? Again, so in the scriptures, he was trying to say, just who is the living God? It's true God who can set you free. Not the, uh, like the law of Moses' law, Right? If you read uh, I, uh, in the same chapter, verse 37 and 39, right, 38 and 39, I speak what I, see, what I have spe uh, seen with my father, and you do not, I'm sorry, I speak what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have seen with your father, right? In 39, they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Oh, Abraham is our father. Right. Now what? They started, right? If you read the script scriptures, and they said, Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Right. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I heard from God, Her Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Okay? He's someone, he, somehow he was trying to tell the truth. Right? You might think, what is your topic and what you are talking? Okay, so I want to dig something. I want to show you. So here you can see so much of rejection for Jesus. He's trying to say that Father is the true living God. But they are stick on, no, Abraham is our father. It's trying to open their mind. But still, they're rejecting the knowledge of God. They're rejecting Jesus Christ. They're rejecting the truth, which they rebel against the God. Right? Even in same chapter verse 48 to 59, I would like to read that. Say what, ha what has happened there. Then the Jews answered and said to him, verse 48, do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan, have a demon? They are saying, ah, in Singhala they say, Anna yata, me yaka vadila. In Singhala they say, in Tamil Sam, Ruku pay puditiriku. Ha, yaka vadila. Sometimes when we try to say the truth, they will say yaka vadila like that, right? <laughs> Sorry for that. So Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, right? I do not have demon, I honor my father and you dishonor me, right? Same way, somehow he was trying to say, just keep on saying, no, I'm doing what fathers told me, what fathers t uh, taught me, right? Right, okay. They said, you're, a d you're possessed 
uh, to the demon like that, right? Verse 52, 52. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. <laughs> Abraham is dead. And the prophets, and you say, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. Right? Jesus saying like this. Then they are saying, right? Are you greater than our father Abraham? Again, another question. <laughs> Again, they are rebelling against the word. Jesus is trying to teach them someone, but they are not willing to listen to them. They are rejecting the knowledge. Right. So Jesus, are you greater than our father Abraham? Who is dead? And the pro prophets are dead. Who do you make yourself to be out to be? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. If you read that, so uh, verse 56, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then very next verse says like this. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet 50 years old and you, you have seen Abraham. Again they are saying, You are not years, yet 50 years old even, but you are saying, We have seen Jesus. Again they are speaking against the word of God. They are rejecting the knowledge. But some they were believed in Jesus, but they are rejected the knowledge. They rejected the word of God. Right. So what Jesus did wisely, Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. But still, they are, they are like blind people. Very Verse 59 says, Then they took up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out to the temple, going through the midst of them and so passed by. So they rejected Somehow he was trying to say that I am the living God. I am the I am, who I am. But they were not willing to accept or to willing to listen to the word of God. They rejected. So what happened because of the so many rejection Jesus went through? According to Isaiah chapter 53 verse 7 says like this. Isaiah chapter 57 53 verse 7 says like this so much of rejection because of you and me because he wanted us to set free he wanted us to live a glorious life Isaiah chapter 53 verse 7 he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he was led as a lamb to the slugata, slaughter and as a sheep before its Shiraz is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was so silent. He was so, like, because of you and me, was rejected like a lamb, trampled like, or like a rose, right? So he, he rejected. He was humble to his father, and he accepted the rejection by his own people, right? In many incidents, he got rejected and denied by his people. So I can, uh, because of time, I would like to short the um, points that I would like to give you. So in many incidents, Jesus got rejected. In If you even the same chapter, in chapter 8, you can see how many times they rejected. So in many incidents, they rejected Jesus Christ. So, so number one, uh, first point I would like to say, he was betrayed by one of his closest associates. Who? Who was he? Judas, right? He was betrayed for 30 gold coins. Close associate, close friends, sometimes close friends, they reject us. They say, I don't want your friendship. Sometimes they reject for something, right? Number two, even in his own village, according to Mark chapter 6, verse 3 and 4, Mark chapter Three, six verse three and four says like this. Hmm. Even in his own village, they rejected him. Hmm. Oh God, how much he has tolerated because of you and me. Hmm. Mark chapter. Sometimes in your own house, they they because of you accepted Jesus Christ, 
they will reject you, right? Mark chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. Is this not the carpenter? Oh, is she the poor girl doing the ministry? Is she the girl who is uh, cleaning the church? That girl, you know, the whole story, like the woman Jesus um, set free in the adultery, gave us forgiveness. Sometimes people used to talk, uh, give some <laughs> extra qualifications, okay? <laughs> okay, so... He see, verse 3, is, he, uh, is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, hmm? and brother of James, uh, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters are with us? So they were offended at him. <laughs> they say, you know, you know that, that girl's brother? You know that girl's sister? <laughs> they will somehow, they will give us the extra qualifications. And they will create stories, right? But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. They, they rejected in own own village, on his, uh, right? And also, number three, not Jesus, but Barabbas. Oh, we need Barabbas. We need Barabbas. <laughs> According to John 18, verse 40, Pilate offered Sometimes pilot and pilot, so that's why I pronounce like this. Pilate offered to release Jesus, but the own people said, Oh, we need Barabbas, we need Barabbas. So we don't want Jesus. They deny Jesus, they rejected. But they don't know what is the blessing when Jesus came to this world. They rejected Jesus Christ, right? Said, No, not him, give us Barabbas. They rejected. Very same, if you read the same scripture. They said, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. When Jesus entered the Jerusalem, they said, oh, blessed is the Lord who comes in the name of Jesus. Like they, they said, they sang song, Hosanna, Hosanna, and very next same uh, scripture, they sing, oh, we don't want Jesus. We need Barabbas. Say, same mouth, right? <laughs> same mouth, same people. Okay, number four. Even Peter denied him three times, who said that he will follow him until... He dies. Even Peter said, denied. I said, I don't know. I don't know who is. He ran away from him. But actually he repented and he did a powerful ministry later. Right? He repented. Right? Number five. When Jesus was being arrested, right? All his beloved disciples, oh, they fled from their life because of, they, they ran away. They left Jesus. They said, oh, our lives are important than him. And they ran away. See, even disciples, they, even in your life, your friends or your uh, whoever in your relationship, or whoever say, I will live until you die. I will live. Happiness or sadness or this or that, I, will, I won't live. But sometimes in a half a way, they have been gone. Hmm. So, <laughs> I think I'm talking to someone. Right. Even Jesus said in Luke chapter 23, verse 31. Luke chapter 23, verse 31. Mm. Read, with, uh, read with me. Luke chapter 23, verse 31 says like this. For if they do these things, for if they do these things in the green wood, what will be done in the dry? In Tamil says, Patta Marthake, Patta Patta Marthake. Like that, uh, Jesus says, if they reject me, it's, it's normal to reject you as well. Jesus says like that, right? It's normal. It's normal. Rejection is normal in our life. Many people still reject Jesus Christ as their Savior and dishonor him. Sometimes they, they say, Jesus, no, he's not a true God. They reject him. But in very rejection, but in the very rejection, right, he gave us the greatest priceless gift that is salvation to you and me in this world. The salvation is the greatest gift. When they rejected Jesus, that was the great blessing for us. I said rejection is the blessing, right? When the own people rejected Jesus Christ, when they rejected him, 
the salvation came to the old world. Amen. So rejection is a blessing to us. The rejection gave us the salvation to the Gentiles. We are blessed because of the rejection of his own people. Without Jesus' rejection, which led to the cross and the resurrection, there was no salvation. He went to the cross and he raised from the dead. And the salvation came to us. Right? They crucified. Because they rejected, they crucified. The rejection gave up the salvation. We are the testimony, the living testimony for us. For the Christian society. Is rejection turned out to our redemption? Right? Maybe today you might be in a situation where rejection has been taken place one after, one after, one after in your life. Right? But remember, Jesus went through all these things. He knows us very well, the rejections. If you are rejected, uh, by any, any situation, right? Remember this. All things happen for our own good. When rejection happens in companies, jobs, or relationships, think about this. All things happen for our own goods, right? Because human rejections can be God's divine protection, right? When humans reject, that can be God's divine protection. When God says no, it is it is not rejection, it is redirection, right? When God says no, what is that? It is not rejection, it is redirection, right? So say thank you, Lord, for the rejection. Say thank. Thank you, Lord, for all the rejection that I have faced, uh, that have been faced throughout my life. Maybe from the younger days up to now. Right? What are the rejection? Maybe in relationship or companies, in your education side, your schools, or among your friends, or in your society, wherever you are. Those who are joining with us through Facebook and YouTube right now. Even though you have been, if you're going through like rejections, say thank you, Lord, for redirecting my life or giving me a divine protection through my life, to my life. Okay? So never doubt about his ways. Because for every problem, we know there's a solution. Do you agree with me? For every problem, so we have a solution. That rejection will be a blessing for our own good. Right? So today, I would like to show you something. Right. So sometimes we need to cut off some things in our life. Cut off what, cut off what needs to be cut off and add what should be added in your life. Right? So listen to me properly. I want to show you something that I want your answer, right? Cut off what needs to be cut off in your life and add what should be added in your life, okay? So here we go. Give me another five minutes, okay? I'll keep the mic. Can hear, right? Can hear me? Okay. So what is this? Don't see behind. <laughs> so what is this? I need your answer. Louder. Rejection. Spell with me. Louder. R. Louder, church. Louder. Yes. Yes. E. C. Okay. 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 Rejection. Injection. <laughs> okay, so what I said, there is uh, always never doubt about is ways because for every problem we have solution. Okay, what is this problem? Don't see the answer. Someone is looking from down. <laughs> I have the answer behind. Don't see the page, okay? So tell me, every, there is a solution for every problem. So I, I would like to say, you have the answer in this rejection. You have the answer. Come on, church. You have the answer in this problem. So what did I say? So spellings is rejection, R-E-J-E-C-T-I-O-N, rejection, right? So what did I say? Cut off what you need to be cut off and add what should be 
add in your life. So I'm going to cut some spellings here. So the answer is rejoice. Rejoice. What's that? Okay, see, hear me. Rejection, the same spellings, it's there. Rejoice. What letter you should cut off? Tell. Church, respond to me. T and N. When you organize the letters, what the word comes as? Rejoice. Wow. Rejoice in Lord. Right. According to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice all the time. Rejoice. Rejoice again and again. Rejoice. First thing you need to do. You, do you know what you should do? Reject the rejection. Ignore the re rejection. When you start ignoring the rejection or reject the rejection, you can be rejoice in your life. So rejection is a blessing, right? So I would like to round and show you, right? The T and I. When you cut off the T and N in rejection, you can rejoice. So cut off and add something to your life which leads you a successful life. Okay, so according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, rejoice in him all the time. Right? Rejoice. I will say again, rejoice in Lord. In First Thessalonians chapter 5 and 16 also say, rejoice at all times. Rejoice at all times. So don't let a rejection discourage you. Because that very same rejection can be a blessing to your priceless life, right? So Jesus loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Rejoice. Try to or practice to reject the rejection. Ignore the rejection. Your life will be a blessing to many. Amen.